So keyboards, I've been getting more and more into like say 60, 65% keyboards uh, where they're like hot swappable keys, caps, swapping out the PCB and all that good stuff. I've been getting into it a little bit lately and uh, I've been getting into it lately and I quite enjoy the matter of fact that if I don't like something on the keyboard I buy, I can buy something different, swap it out. I don't have to buy a brand new entire keyboard. I enjoyed the fact that I could do that. So today we're looking at a keyboard from Royal Kludge. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. So guys, this is what we're looking at. This is a RK Royal Kludge keyboard and this is pretty much what we're looking at today. So why don't we just get straight into it? So this is what we're talking about today and we'll go through some of the parts. So first of all, you do get quite a lengthy cable here, which is USB to USB Type-C, which is a very generic cable nowadays with newer technology. We do get a keycap remover as well as a switch remover, which we'll go through in a little bit in a second. Now, they do give you four extra switches as well. These are, I believe these are brown switches, which is quite nice to see that they give you some extras as well as the user manual itself. So this is going to tell you everything about remapping the keyboard. Uh, everything about the on off switch uh, all the way through to like different settings for the RGB lighting absolutely everything so I have to admit I've recently just started getting into these keyboards I did one a little while ago from a company where I was actually building my own and it was extremely nice um, so it was quite a cool little design um, but these keyboards I do like obviously I don't know a massive amount of them before I started but since I built my own obviously everything down to the PCB to the boards I kind of know roughly what's going on inside so this is the keyboard we're looking at today 60 percent keyboard um all black it's got rgb lights all underneath the switches are brown switches so it's relatively quite relatively quite silent uh which isn't too bad so just on the bottom here we do have all plastic back with the rk royal clutch uh, logo going on there and then we do also have the back of the board as well so the keyboard itself is on an incline, as you can see, shorter at the bottom than as we go, it is quite larger. This basically minimizes the fact of having feet on the keyboard, so this is where it's pretty much sat permanently. Four rubber feet, two in each corner, just to allow for that extra security, so when you are on a, tab uh, on a table or a, a mouse mat, the keyboard's not going to stop flying all over the place. Now you do have your USB receiver, which is fitted inside the keyboard as well. So if you do want to travel, obviously you don't have to worry about this. That can just slide in right there and you are good to go. And it is got a little magnet inside there. So it does uh, stop it from falling out, which is a really nice idea. I did like that. Now on the bottom here, we do have the on off symbol on off switch. And over here we do have B and G. Uh, I believe one is going to be for Bluetooth and the other one is going to be for the actual receiver as well. So it's quite cool that they give you that availability to swap it out. Now I'm going to turn this on, turn it over, All right, so obviously RGB lights going on at the moment, but just to start off with, as we can see there, we do have the brown switches going on, as we can see the RGB light thrown off, and these switches, obviously they do come out, so with the little handy dandy tool that they've given us, all you need to do is pinch the switch, and the switch itself just comes out like that, which was extremely easy, just like that, and then just to put it back in, you just line up the two pins that are here, line that up properly, Pop it back in and you are good to go and dust it. Now, this is obviously hot swappable. You can use your own switches with this if that is what you prefer. You know, red switches, black switches, all that good stuff. There is a ton you can buy out in the market. So if that's something you are interested in, obviously you can. I'll put some links in the description below so you can go check some out for yourself. Uh, but yeah, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to dim the lights and we're going to go for the different RGB effects to show you exactly what we are working with. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cycle through each of these and there'll be a little heading up here how to actually turn it on and off and then we'll probably go from there. So just to start off with a simple FN key and then you've got two little tallies here to actually turn down and turn the different cycles on and off. So that's as low as it goes and then you can turn it obviously up to there. So we'll start off going through the functions and we'll go from there.
So there we go, that was just me going through the cycle of different types of RGB and as you can see there is a ton of different effects so no matter what your nostalgia is when it comes to this sort of stuff whether you like it fast speed, slow speed or even just the RGB as you're typing you know you have the full availability there to change anything you like. Now like I said these are completely remappable so if you want to change all the switches if you want to do anything like that all you need to do is this handy little dandy tool that I've given you pop that out and then pop all your keys off you can unscrew your actual board and it's just as simple as squeeze the switch pop it out and you are pretty much done and good to go and that really is as simple as it gets and then simply line up the pins as you put them back in and you are good to go so i definitely have to admit for something like this if you are interested obviously head down the links in the description there'll be a link there so you can go check them out for yourself but like i said the fn key does control everything you've got everything from your numbers buttons but obviously fn will also control the function buttons you've got your print screen control page up page down home insert even your arrow directional keys so you can even do that but like i said you can reprogram this if you do read the manual it'll tell you everything you need to know about this so don't worry about that and like I said, if you do end up getting one and you do struggle with anything at all, drop them down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help as always. And of course, this is definitely going to be a thumbs up from me. So guys, there we go. That was the keyboard review. And I have to admit, it turned out really well. I do like the fact that um, I can take the caps out and take the keys out and I can swap them around I can make this look a little bit more stylish if I wanted to or if I wanted to use my own personal key caps, I can do. Now that is something I really did enjoy. The amount of scenarios and features they have for the RGB as well really did kick kick it off from there. Like you've got all these different functions, so no matter what you are or how you are, how you want to present yourself with the RGB keys and the backlights when you're in like a dark environment gaming, you really have 100% access to all of it, which is really, really incredible. And like I did explain, it does come with a cable and the tool as well as some extra switches just in case they do get damaged or anything. So you really are not going to struggle with a keyboard like this. So if you do want to go check one out for yourself, links are all in the description, so you can go check them out. And if you do have any issues, drop them down in the comment section below. More than happy to help. But as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as always, have a great day.